So it looks like Star Wars Legion is basically going to get a Kill Team-esque mode and I have to say I'm very impressed and it's very intriguing. So today AMG put out a call saying you can now openly test a new mode for Star Wars Legion called Special Operations. It's effectively an open beta. You can go onto the website and I'll try and leave a link in the description if I remember and you can find this Star Wars Legion Special Operations beta. Now there's a couple of things you might notice here. You can see the Special Operation rules, the feedback form because obviously this is a beta they want you to actually test things and then they have specific faction command cards and then squads for that faction. Now the squads are really interesting in themselves and we'll get onto that in a minute but yeah this is a fascinating development and we'll just very quickly talk about what's actually changed before we talk about why they've done this and the timing considering we're getting Shatterpoint this year. So because this is in beta testing and it's not actually finalized the way that the rules are presented are not very pretty it's just literally a word document with what you need to know basically there's nothing else. A couple of things that we want to talk about when it comes to the game though it is played on a 3x3 three three. you're not going to actually use the range tools from Star Wars Legion you're going to use a tape measure because ranges are measured in six inch increments. A lot of the rules from Star Wars Legion are the same but there are some key differences. The way that you build your list for example well you don't really build your list you just get given a squad and you can pick between certain squads depending on your faction. When I say you can pick between the squads I mean you just pick one squad and that's all you have. There's loadouts as in like I think the items that you get they change but they actually change when you've deployed or when you know the mission. Very interesting stuff. The command cards are also changing here you can see. The way you pick who's blue and red also changes but I'm not really too interested in that. I'm a little bit confused by the missions because it says players can select a mission they agree upon or may randomly choose a mission to play. That's a funny way of determining it. That may not be finalized rules obviously it's just sort of funny. Each mission has its own victory conditions. A lot of the actions are staying the same but there is a new rule that you can't do the same action twice including move so you can't move twice in this mode except there is a new action called dash so in theory you can move and then dash and dashing is a speed one move that's a pretty interesting rule rallying suppression are also changing in this mode i'm not going to go through everything because that you know just read the document if you want to do that right panic is changing and so is terrain terrain is literally either open or impassable there's nothing in between there's a couple of changes to some keywords like critical x and stuff like that all very interesting and you can see here as well they have some of the missions so this is effectively like there's three objective tokens it's randomly determined which one is the priority which i think gives you most on that one but there's all different kinds here you can see the spread out like this as i said this board is a 36 inch by 36 inch so three foot by three foot there's one called the codes i have to say the deployment on that one looks very funky but you know it is what it is there's one called disabled vehicle and then we actually come to the squads themselves now the squads you might be a little bit confused by this like i was but maybe you're just smarter than i am you get all of the generic command cards cards because I think they come with either of these right I would I do think they should be laid out a little bit differently I'm sure once it actually comes out finally then it'll be a bit more obvious and then you either pick the arc trooper squad which you would get all of these or you pick the clone trooper squad which you get all of these all of the ones here at the B in the B category right and that's the same for the separatists as well you either get invasion force squad or droid commando squad for the empire you get either infantry squad or the ISF squad and for the rebels you either get the rebel trooper squad or you can take the rebel commando squad you just pick that and that's it I'm not sure I saw about the loadouts I may have the loadouts wrong but you know I think that maybe they're in a different a different file and then I'm not going to go through all of these but just to show you what some of the squad cards look like because now all of the rules are on the cards they're not going to like shorthand everything and that's because some of the rules are obviously changing and what that unit has they're also changing for example the imperial officer as far as I know in normal legion does not have get them and get them is choose a one friendly stormtrooper unit at eight inches i think if you do it may make a move action then it may make a melee action or melee attack pretty damn interesting right so these are all the ones you can get and they're not actually here split by the squads you'd have to sort of print them out and then do it yourself fine as i said i'm not going to go through all of these and you can also print off the command cards which have some use i'm not sure who can necessarily take them i think it, they just can be used at any point by anybody from what i remember from reading those quick rules but yeah each faction has their own command cards as well all very very interesting let's not beat around the bush this is basically star wars legion kill team edition and i have to say i'm on board with that obviously they can't call it kill team it's called special operations but effectively that's what it looks like if they were going to do this i would have preferred that they actually made the board just a little bit smaller maybe they could have made it two by two maybe they tried that and it just didn't work now there's a couple of questions you might be wondering is this the end of skirmish and that i think is probably 
Technically, no, because you'll always be able to play it, but I'd be surprised if they're going to support Skirmish in any meaningful way. It wasn't really AMG's baby. They probably don't like it that much, maybe, if they're making their own like special operations game mode, but it's a reasonable question to ask if you're a massive fan of Skirmish. Is Skirmish dead? And then really, the bigger question is why now that is very difficult to answer right a bit of me wonders if this is actually a tactic to say to people hey we know you might not be happy with star wars shatterpoint so we're going to throw you a bone and make an actual kill team mode because a lot of people in all the comments that i've seen are like hey why didn't they just make a kill team style s game with star wars legion well what if you have your cake and you eat it as well that expression never made any sense and it doesn't there but let's not question it effectively what i'm saying is they're going to make more money with star wars shatterpoint and they know that all of the hype etc people will be like yes i'm going to get into that game but maybe they just don't want to like uh, annoy the legion players or they want to tease you in saying hey we treated you well with legion now we want you to come and play shatterpoint as well it's a bit of an easier sell when you've got people on your side and the bigger question is really what about this timing right so we now know it's coming we know it's going to get like beta tested this month and in april i'm guessing for a release maybe towards the end of this year maybe early next i'm hoping that they actually do it like kill team and they release an actual new box for it because that would be pretty damn dope i need to stop saying the word dope but the timing is very intriguing right now that they've announced this shatterpoint's coming this year they're not like the same game obviously they're going to play very differently but that's very intriguing like technique in a weird way they're saying hey maybe you don't need to play star wars shatterpoint and that's some weird marketing in my eyes but as i said they know people really just like shiny new toys and they know people will buy shatterpoint no matter what right people just like it they like the aesthetic because you know the the way that the models are built is different they'll probably have a stronger gameplay like it'll probably be a little bit tighter in terms of its rules because let's face it it's going to be amg's baby and i think they just know that shatterpoint is probably going to be an all round superior product to this special operations i'm not saying it's better than star wars legion obviously we have no idea what i am saying is that they've made this i think to appease people rather than to be like we're going to dominate the skirmish game industry kind of thing however i could be wrong maybe they're just going to go ham with this next year maybe they'll do like starter boxes and all kinds of things and maybe it'll be very exciting definitely an interesting move when it comes to amg and i have to say i, I like it gives me a reason to actually buy more of my star wars legion stuff for my empire because i was keeping that i got rid of a lot of my other stuff because i either didn't paint it or yeah i wasn't ever going to use it but now i can sort of keep my empire and maybe i can catch a tournament of this if anybody runs tournaments of this I, I sort of doubt they will but you know maybe i can go get a few games of this and that's exciting it gives me a reason to keep my stuff and keep playing with it a very interesting development i will be keeping my eyes peeled for somebody to actually make the first battle rep of this i really sort of want to see it in action i'm watching you internet i'm watching in youtube okay well that's star wars legion kill team basically let me know your thoughts in the comments below i definitely hope that you have a most beautiful day like and subscribe goodbye